Okay, so here are, now what we need to do is consider the elimination products for this mechanism. Here comes all the elimination products. Going back to the carbocation, because they all start by the formation of the carbocation. When we're trying to determine the elimination products, what we need to do is realize that in, in elimination, we are going to abstract a hydrogen from a carbon adjacent to the positive charge. So we're going to pull a hydrogen off from this carbon or pull a hydrogen off from this carbon. And again, that's going to happen with the methanol. So we just, we're going to do, do them both. We'll just start with the one that's closest. We'll abstract this one first. The electrons from the carbon-hydrogen bond get moved over to the carbon-carbon bond. And we end up with this alkene. We also have a possibility for the methanol to abstract from the other carbon that's going to be pulling one of these and hydrogen and moving the carbon hydrogen electrons into that spot. That will give us that product. And there is actually one more E1 product for this reaction. Don't forget about the rearrangement. Rearrangement is not exclusive to SN1. When you make a carbocation, it can, if it can, it will rearrange to make a more stable carbocation, whether you're doing elimination or substitution. So not only do we get these two products, but we're also having the possibility of elimination over here from this carbocation. So again, we're going to use the same strategy. This is a positively charged carbon. We can pull hydrogen from here. I'll go ahead and draw those in. Or up here. Recognize that these two are the same, so there really isn't any need for us to draw these in. Or we can pull them from here. Now you should be able to see that if you abstract one of these guys, it's going to give you this product right here. You're going to pull one of those off and form a double bond right here in this spot, right there. The abstracting from this end is going to give you a different product. So the methanol is going to take one of these guys and the electrons in that carbon hydrogen bond are going to end up in that spot. and we get that product. In predicting the major E1 product, we don't look at the product that came from the more stable carbocation. That wouldn't even help us in this case. This was the more stable carbocation. It gave us two different products. What we look at is the most, the most stable alkene, which is the most substituted alkene. This alkene has only one R group on it. This alkene has one, two, three R groups on it. This alkene has two. So this is, the second one, is the major E1 product. And the other two are minor E1 products. Now as far as asking yourself what's the major product of the reaction overall, obviously it's um, most likely going to be one of the two major products. That's just not a question that we ask ourselves, trying to decide if this is going to be produced in greater quantity or this one over here. Don't know. You know, in these cases, you want to list every reasonable product of the reaction. And for this reaction, all five of these products that we drew are significant. They're going to be present in, in a relatively decent quantity. So you want to list them all. Let's do another example.